first prize, thank you for taking a little bit of time to talk about the, this, uh, this wholesome and, and beautiful and funny and, again, relatable uh, animated series. Thank you and congratulations on the, on the part. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. I want Didi. Didi has such, it's such, has such so much characteristics, so many personalities. Uh, I got to ask, and this is an obvious question, how much of Didi is you or how much is you just, you're just following the script because you just love it how it is? Okay, right, I'll, I'll right. Leave it don't, they don't have to put it in. Well, I'd say Didi and I are pretty similar. Um, and that's what I love about playing her. She is truly a, a theater nerd. She loves musical theater and performing arts. And that is who I am at my core. Um, I come from musical theater, love to sing, love to dance, love to be on stage. And uh, Dee Dee is jumping in and out of characters. And, you know, I'm a professional actor, so I jump in and out of characters. And so I get to relate to her um, on that standpoint. And it's really fun to bring all of that energy to Dee Dee. I, I gotta say, Didi will be famous in film Twitter because she just she just will you you know, everybody will love her in there um, because yeah that's how it is. Mm -hmm. I, I want to talk about the series you know being produced by Nickelodeon. I grew up with Nickelodeon. I think Nickelodeon is so important um, for families uh, as a whole. What does it mean to you to have this opportunity to be part of a project like this again, so relatable, so humble, so family friendly? What does it mean to you to have this opportunity? It, it means so much. It's actually a really surreal, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a really surreal experience for me because like you said, you know, growing up with Nickelodeon, I also grew up watching um, shows on Nickelodeon, live action shows, but a, a bunch of cartoons, such great formative cartoons for my childhood, you know, and um, for me, it was always exciting, you know, as a kid watching cartoons and seeing a character that looked like me, someone I could relate to. And so for me, I, I love that I get to represent that with this show. Representation has always been so important to me. And so I get, you know, Dee Dee is this Black theater nerd um, who is so supportive of her friends and is so positive and so fun loving. She portrays so many amazing qualities and I get to bring a voice to that and bring life to that. So it's really special to watch with my family. My parents are so excited. My parents, my parents are so excited, so proud. Um, and it's also a show, we watched a few episodes together. We got to screen some episodes as a family. And my brother, he's only a few years younger than me. And then my parents, we all watched together and they're laughing and reacting and enjoying it. So it's such a testament to how this show, it, it truly is for the family. You know, there's jokes that will go over little kids' heads. And then we adults can like, you know, snatch those jokes and have a good time with that. And then there's just a lot of humor for the whole family to enjoy as a whole. The animation style is beautiful um so it's something that's definitely really special to be a part of because my own family i can enjoy it with them as we watch and that that's exciting before i let you go because i know we're short on time i i always tend to ask voice actors how much do the producers give you when you get into the in the booth and start recording your character so so you, so you can get into the mindset of the of the character how much do you know of how where where the, you know where the direction Dee is going with with her whole situation that's going on with Nate. How much do you know? Uh, how, why can you give us away? You know, maybe we didn't too much pointers. Well, I mean, that's a really great question because it's true, you know, this, the show is, is based on these awesome books and, and comic strips, but the show itself, we have these new stories that we're bringing to everyone. So the, this is never before seen, never before seen big Nate content. So there are certain things they give us a heads up. Hey, you know, you might be singing, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, you know, down the line. And cause I come from musical theater. So I'm always like putting that out there and, um, or, you know, Hey, we might have this, you know, fun episode, or maybe we might have this fun guest star. Um, but you know, we, we never know until it happens, honestly, because uh, that's just the nature of, of putting on a show like this, of, of creating content like this. Um, so yeah, sometimes they give us a heads up and other times it's just right on the spot or like the week before it's like, hey, I mean, we really don't get the scripts until the week before we record it. And sometimes just a few days. So yeah, it is, it's pretty tightly sealed, which is a part of the fun of it. We're, we're discovering it and experiencing it, you know, not, you know, in real time with the audience, but we're experiencing it along the way as well we don't know too much ahead of time and, and it's fun and exciting that way i completely understand they want you to also enjoy the journey of discovering who Didi is exactly. and enjoy the process again congratulations absolutely love Didi and absolutely love the show i think it's gonna thank be great you. thank you for your time thank you thank you for having me it was great talking to you